New tonight, a confession made in a cold case murder is now being questioned. The man who made it died two months after being charged, and now his attorney says the confession was false. Tonight, our Lauren Kostick breaks down the new developments and what's next for this investigation. Over the summer, investigators thought they found their guy. Sean McClung was charged with the killing of Denise Flum. The 18-year-old went missing more than three decades ago in Fayette County, her family never losing hope. You don't, you don't give up, you just, you spend your life looking. But new details surrounding his confession is leaving investigators back at square one. No suspect and no answers. According to our partners at Connorsville News Examiner, McClung confessed to the killing in exchange for immunity and dismissal of two other cases. But that agreement was thrown out after he didn't disclose the location of Flum's remains. Two months later, Judson McMillan, the defense attorney for the case, says McClung recanted his confession, saying in a statement, Based on my own private conversations with McClung and his overall lack of credibility, I believe the person responsible for the death or disappearance of Denise Flum is still out there. We also spoke with the Fayette County Sheriff's Department who said they didn't receive information about this until after McClung's death in September, saying it is the understanding of our offices that Mr. McMillan is now withholding a statement from a potential witness that has also not been turned over to investigators or prosecutors. It's these new developments that are adding another twist to a heartbreaking story of a family that just wants answers. So if you have any information regarding the disappearance of Denise Flum, contact the Sheriff's Department. You can also find more details about this case on our website tonight at WTHR.com.